Hi, the Mud Broker here. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a craft project. I'm going to make a new weight for my sauerkraut making rig. This is a gallon jar that I used to make sauerkraut. It has an airlock on it to help keep the air out. But you need something for a weight to weight down the things that I'm fermenting inside. I've tried other things and they don't really work terribly well. So what I'm going to do is take an old half pint wide mouth jar. It has a couple little chips in the rim so I can't use it for canning anymore. I'm going to fill it with pieces of cut up old stainless steel cutlery. Once I get it filled with the bits of cutlery, I'm going to mix up some two part food safe resin and pour that in and make a solid block out of it. By the time all is said and done, this should weigh about three pounds. Now this is kind of a request video from Christina Blackfeather. If you haven't heard of Christina, she's uh, probably one of the most wonderful people on YouTube. She does a lot of art streams, doing paintings and sculptings and chain mail things, and she plays a lot of Minecraft. I'm going to leave a link to her channel and I can't recommend highly enough that you go over and subscribe. So anyway, I got hold of a bunch of old butter knives at thrift stores. You know, for a quarter you can get a big handful of them. And I cut them up with a 4 inch grinder with a cutoff wheel. Now some of them have pretty cool little patterns on the ends. And I'm going to try and arrange these so that they face outward so you can see them through the glass. But it's not really that high of a priority. So, I'll just start putting some of this stuff in here and get this loaded up. Now that I have it mostly full, I left this one use the blade part of the knife. I'm going to put that in the middle and get that wedged in good. And for the time being, I'm just going to leave it long. And once this cures out, I'll do a little bit of bending and shaping to that so that I can make a little hook or something that I can grab a hold of. Now, I want to make sure. Everything's in there fairly tight. I think that's about all I'm going to get in there. Now before I got to this stage, I put all the pieces in there and I filled it with water to see how much resin I would need to fill this up. And it took 100 milliliters, so I'm going to mix up 120 milliliters of resin. Get the... hold on here. I had clipped the tips off of the spout on the bottles, but I forgot to take the seals off the inside. Anyway, I'm going to mix up 120 milliliters of resin and get that all stirred up. This is a food safe resin. It's FDA approved for food contact. So if you're going to do something like this, make sure that you are using an approved food safe resin.
When you mix resin, you have to mix it very thoroughly so that it's completely stirred in. Otherwise, it won't cure right. You'll get soft, sticky spots. But you also want to be careful that you don't stir in too many air bubbles if you can avoid it. Get this stirred up good. Scrape your sides good so that everything is thoroughly mixed. Now this resin can be used either for casting, like I'm doing, or it can be poured onto something like a countertop to give it a you know, real hard shiny coating on it. Now according to the directions, this resin has a 30 to 45 minute pot life, which means it'll stay liquid for 30 to 40 minutes, and then it'll set, start to gel. After 24 hours to 48 hours, if you pour it in the mold, you can remove it from the mold, and it takes about 3 to 5 days to become fully and completely cured. Now hopefully this will adhere to the glass, if it doesn't, I can deal with that too later on once it cures. But I'll simply pour the resin in. Let that settle in a little bit. Give a little bump to help bring up the air bubbles. I don't know if you can see it, but there are some pretty good sized bubbles rising out of it. Now I'm going to let this sit for about 10 minutes. Also according to the instructions, once it sat for a while and the bubbles have come to the surface, you can spray it with a fine mist of rubbing alcohol and that will pop all the bubbles instantly and give you a nice shiny top on the surface. And we'll see if that actually works in about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes and Hopefully you can see, I did manage to get a fair number of the patterned pieces showing to the outside. It's been 10 minutes and there's some little fine bubbles on top. I'm going to see what happens when you spray it with the alcohol like the instructions say. Oh, it really does pop them all nice. What I'm going to do now is leave this sit for a couple of hours until it gels up good and then I'll put it somewhere warm and leave it sit for another 
three to five days while it cures out. After that, I'll do some shaping, do a little bending and cutting and shaping on that blade sticking up so I have a handle for it. In case you're wondering what brand that is, that's Amazing Clear Cast brand resin. And other than that, that's really all I have to do for this video. And go ahead, I'll leave a link to it, get over to Christina Blackfeather's channel, subscribe, watch, and enjoy her content. Talk to you later. Goodbye.